President Donald Trump's visits to Mar-a-Lago aren't easy for his staff, Gerardo Mora, Getty Images Donald Trump loves visiting Mar-a-Lago. His staff, on the other hand, doesn't. They see spending time there as headache. Find out why, ahead. Trump's staff can't control who he comes into contact with being in Washington, D.C., 995 miles away from Mar-a-Lago, Trump's White House staff can only control so much of his Florida surroundings. When asked about the president giving an interview, what interview? Today, is the response one White House staffer told the Washington Post. Unbeknownst to them, while eating lunch at Trump's golf club, a New York Times reporter sees Trump and interviews him for a half hour. Access to people and information is easier he is able to talk to guests. Joe Reddell, Getty Images Trump can talk, unfiltered, to guests of his establishment, the Trump International Golf Club. The president is able to get a lot of information that is normally blocked from getting to him. You don't have the minders, Roger Stone, a Trump campaign advisor and friend of Trump, told the Washington Post. This makes the president's staff uneasy for good reason. There could be an unforeseen media storm. Members of the golf club can talk to Trump. It's not like being at the White House. Drew Ongerer, Getty Images, nearly any club member determined enough can eventually reach the president. The Washington Post says, this is a bad thing for White House staffers because anything can happen when a member speaks to the president. They haven't been vetted by his staff or told about talking points. Another iffy situation for Trump's staff. The president's guard is down. He's able to relax in Florida. Joe Reddell, Getty Images, Florida is a place where people go to relax and get away from the stress of everyday life. The same goes for Trump. In Florida, he's able to relax and put his guard down. This could make for a disastrous news cycle or tweet. No doubt causing another fire for Trump's staff to extinguish. There are fewer handlers aides can't give him as much input while he's there. Joe Reddell, Getty Images Trump can't be handled at Mar-a-Lago. Trump often is most unrestrained and unfettered, making it harder for his West Wing staffers to control his daily media diet and personal contacts as they try to do in Washington. The Washington Post says he can read any news he likes and tweet about whatever topic he likes without getting input from aides. Trump's a wild card. It's hard to manage him. Mandel Nunn, AFP, Getty Images. While this remains true at the White House, in Florida, there's less staff to manage Trump. No one likes being managed, but the job of president requires a team. At Mar-a-Lago and his golf club, Trump can say and do anything. Nobody tells Donald Trump where he can and cannot go, Stone told the Washington Post. His routine is the same, the public might be able to figure out when he's playing golf. Andy Buchanan, AFP, Getty Images having a routine isn't a bad thing. But as president, the public practically knowing your every move can be problematic. Trump's routine in Florida doesn't deviate much from ing TV, working, eating, and golfing, the Washington Post says. This means the public has information about his whereabouts. Check out the cheat sheet on Facebook. Read more, these are Donald Trump's most expensive scandals.